Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this uh, pretty fuzzy, uh, and I I can kind of see how they drew it. There's a line through here. We're going to correct that. Uh, this might trace, but this would be so easy. Now, if it's, if it's got to be perfect, uh, we might want to look at a couple of things, but... Um, you know, perfect shape. That's a not a circle. It's an oval. So we'll let's draw an oval, and then let's put it into our drawing and expand it. He said it. Uh, it just needs to be close to the size, and you know that probably about it. It looks like it goes to there. So. We're going to take that oval and then we're going to reduce it. Well, you know what? Let's put it back on top of there. Tell you what we can do. Let's take this, go to the transparency docker and let's make our drawing a little more transparent. Look at that. So I think I'm pretty close on the first one. We need, we need a second line, control D to make a duplicate, holding down the shift key. That looks pretty good. Let's just move this out of the way. You know what? It's a little not perfect. Um, I want it to be perfect. So what we're going to do, let's measure. Because I think this measurement's pretty close. Let's take the parallel dimension tool. And we're 0.46 of an inch. And a way to make it perfect, let's get rid of that one. Take this oval, go up to effects and contour, contour to the inside, 0.46. And now we have more of a, a perfect circle. Now, looking at these lines kind of gave me a telltale sign of how they did it. And we're going to take this and hit B, put it in the center of the page. And then I'm going to take a two-point line but we're going to get rid of that extra line. And I'm going to fill this in. He actually said he wants it bright red and black. Now, if you remember our, this will really help. Our contour is 0.46. Let's change our nudge factor to 0.46. And let's control D and, or make a duplicate and do that right there. Now what we want to do is take that center one and make it black. You know what? Why didn't that why isn't that showing me the color? No oh, it is. We're gonna take, and because it's offset up here, we're gonna use a smart fill tool that's set on black now. Look at that. There's the inside and the outside. Now, control D to make a duplicate using the two-sided arrow and do that like there. Now, that's perfect. That's exactly what he wanted. Except for he might have a line through here because there are two pieces. Now, so what we can do, let's set our nudge factor on like. It's almost eight inches. Let's grab the red, grab the red, and let's weld these together. That way, just in case they're separated, you see that black, that red isn't actually there. And let's weld that together. I don't think we need that red. Let's see what happens. And then take the black and weld them together. Now let's take this back and there you go. And you will not have a line between the two. I, I couldn't really see my line, but I can see that line. Let's take, go back to the transparency docker. It's always on the bottom. It's almost transparent and it's a fuzzy, see that line? And my new one has no lines. I think I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I'm 
pretty close. Might be a little bit wider. You know, you could always control G to group it and make it just a hair wider. Well, you know what? How wide it? Oh, I had two copies. Control G to group it. I must have control D to duplicate it. But you get that look. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.